Hello everyone, I'm Luciano Barbosa and I'm going to present the paper entitled Attention-Based Spatial Interpolation for House Price Prediction. It's a joint work with my student Darnton Viana and we are from Federal University of Pernambuco, Brazil. So why predict the price of a house is so important? As we know, housing is one of the most substantial expenses of middle class. And because of that, there's a lot of interest to estimate the price of the house, for instance, from individuals willing to buy or sell a real estate, bankers that want to estimate the price of a house for lending, and also uh, real estate agencies and websites that want to estimate the price of a house to their customers. There are some key factors that uh, influence uh, in the price of a house. Some of them are the structural features of the house, so for instance the number of rooms and floors of the house, the number of parking space, the square footage of the house and the age, and they all influence the price of the house. And also the neighborhood where the house is located in. Uh, for instance, if the house is close to schools and parks, and the, if the neighborhood of the house is safe, so all these factors, they influence the price of a house. There are some strategies that uh, use it to capture the spatial contents of a house. So for instance, previous approach uh, uses satellite images of the region around the house, points of interest around the house, and also external image of the house to predict the price of a house. Another uh, other approach uh, use features of the house in its neighbors. The basic idea here is to use spatial interpolation uh, that uh, the main assumption of a spatial interpolation is that houses with similar structure features and geographically close tend to have similar values. So using this idea, basically, uh, given the house here Z0, we want to estimate the price of this house based on the structure features of the house around Z0 and also the distance of this house to Z0. So here's a solution, the attention-based network. So this model, it uh, performs spatial interpolation using the, as input, the structure features and the geocoordinates of the house and the neighbors, and also the price of the neighbors. It has two branches. Uh, on the left, there is the Euclidean attention branch that deals with structural features, and on the right, the geoattention branch that deals with uh, geographical features. So the Euclidean attention branch, it weights the importance of each neighbor based on how similar is the structural features to AI. So AI here is the house structure features. Now this means that houses with similar features to AI have higher rate in the output. Uh, the output is the Euclidean attention vector. And the other branch, the geoattention one, weights the importance of each neighbor based on how close geographically it is to GI. So GI here is the house uh, geocoordinates. The, the result of that is that closer houses have higher weight in this branch's output, which is the, uh, the geo-attention vector. So these vectors are passed to uh, hidden layers, and at the top of the network there is a regular uh, a regression layer to predict the price of the house. So we call the output of the hidden layers house uh, embedding, as you can see on the top of the network. This vector embeds the influence of neighbors and the house information on the house price into a single vector, which can be used as feature set by any regressor to perform house price prediction. Now we're gonna present the experiment evaluation. We evaluate approach on four different data sets. Uh, the first one was from Sao Paulo City, Brazil. Second one from Porto Alegre City, Brazil. Third one from Fayette County, USA and the fourth one uh, from King County, USA. You can see that they are from different regions, they have different number of attributes, different number of samples, and also the mean and some deviation of the price are also different, right? So these are the feature sets that you use in our experiment evaluation. The first one, HA, so these are the structure features and the geographic coordinates of the house that we want to predict the price. HA plus HC is HA plus the structure features and geographic coordinates of the neighbors of the house that we want to predict the price. The third one is HA plus POI, which are the structure features and geographic coordinates of the house that we want to predict the price, plus 
the points of interest around this house. HE is the housing bedding that we create using our network. So here we use a, a, a 50 dimension vector. And the last uh, feature set is HE plus POI. It is the housing bedding plus the points of interest around the house. So we use uh, these different feature sets and evaluate them in uh, different um, regressors. So these are the regressors that we use in our experiment evaluation. Uh, we use a linear regression, random forest, light GBM, XGBoost, outside to learn, and regression layer, which is the layer that we use on top of our network. And here are the error measures that we use. Uh, we use uh, three different ones. M-A-L-E, R-M-S-C, M-A-P-E. So here are the overall results that we got uh, in our experiment evaluation. Uh, we highlight here the lowest error value for each data set with a dot on the right side of the value. As you can see, the regressor that we use in our network, the regression layer, obtains some of the best results. You can see this on the bottom of the table, right? But overall, the best results were achieved by regressors that use housing bedding as feature set. So, for instance, uh, such a simple model as linear regression on top of the table was able to obtain the lowest errors in some scenarios uh, using housing beddings. Uh, so these results confirm that housing beddings can capture the spatial contents of house to predict the price of the houses. So now we want to show the impact of housing bedding on individual regressors. So in this table, we highlight uh, in bold the lowest errors for each regressor. And as you can see, in most of the cases, regressors that use housing beddings uh, as feature set obtain the lowest errors. Some exceptions are uh, LG, like GBM, and XP, HGBoost. And uh, you can also see that the impact is even among the regressors, right? So for instance, for linear regression, the errors are much smaller when using housing embeddings in comparison to random forest. But overall, we can conclude from these numbers that housing embeddings have more impact in simpler regression models. So here's the impact of housing embeddings in the outside kit learning assemble models. So the models created by outside kit learning are a combination of models where each of them has a weight in the final prediction. And the numbers here show that when we use the rough features of the house, uh, maybe we call here HA, more sophisticated, more sophisticated models such as random forest has a higher weight in the prediction. So for instance, random forest got the highest weight in the KC dataset, in the FC dataset, SP dataset, yeah, these three, right? They got, random forest got the highest uh, weight for the HA feature set in these three data sets. Whereas when we use a housing bedding as feature set, simpler models as linear regression has a higher weight. Uh, for instance, the weight of linear regression is the highest one in all data sets with housing beddings as feature set, right? So as you can see in the table. So these results show that the housing bedding, in fact, can capture the complexities associated with the house features in its implicit spatial context represented by its neighbors for house price prediction. We also compare our solution with this with previous approach on the FC data set. So we use the FC data set for comparison because this previous approach they also use uh, the, this data set to evaluate their models. <clears throat> and in this data set the training and test data were separated so we were able to, to build our model to train our model uh, using the training data and evaluate on the test data, right? And we report here the RIMSC results. So the first model, the Bessinger and Jacob uh, model, they use random forest with two different feature sets. The first feature set uh, are features extracted from street level image using a CNN. And the second one use the houses structure features. The second baseline, Bensi et al, they uh, use features extracted from cellular images in the house region uh, using a CNN and these features are uh, used by a regressor. So here are the results. As you can see, our attention network model got uh, lower results, lower errors, right, than the two baselines. And the best result that we got was without scikit-learning with housing battery and was the lowest error 
uh, here, right? So as you can see, these results show that our solution is able to capture the spatial contents of a house, rely only on the information of the houses in its vicinity, as opposed to these two baselines that use more costly strategies to capture the spatial contents by extracting features from images related to the house in its neighborhood to make the prediction. So to finish our presentation, we present the conclusions and future work. So we present a solution for the problem of house price prediction based on attention networks. Uh, we perform an expensive evaluation of four real world uh, data sets that shows that in fact regressors using the house embeddings outperform models using raw features as we show in the experiments, right? Uh, our proposed solution outperform a previous deep learning house price prediction approach that capture the local context extracting features from images. And as a future work, we plan to extend this approach to problems of spatial interpolation in general.